Hello everybody and welcome to another testing video, testing food and drinks video, I apologise. And as you can tell by the title, it is a Cadbury's special. We're trying out four Cadbury's uh, products. I'm not sponsored by Cadbury's, so if they want to sponsor me, they can. I could use the money. If they want to send me new products to try, taste and review, I'm more than welcome and happy for that. So Cadbury's, if you're for any chance you're watching or anyone from Cadbury's knows, you know, let me know. Or if you want to invite me for a free tour at the Cadbury World, that would be good too. Because it's not that far from me. I'm only in Derbyshire. Right, yeah, that's, um, if I don't seem my normal cheery chirpy self, I do apologise. I've had a really bad day today with my depression and not long ago I had an anxiety attack as well so I do apologise if I'm not 100% at my best but I will smile and trot on uh, so the things we are trying today is this Cadbury's Picnic Layers which is a peanut butter thing I think some peanut things in there as well you see there And we've got this Dairy Milk Crispels, what's these? We've got these 12 bites strawberry flavour, strawberry flavoured bite size 12 chocolate pieces. And we've got this Cadbury's Dairy Milk Breakaway Mint, 100% sustainable sourced cocoa. And I got all of these in B and M. Yeah, B and M. Um, I think it was B and M. Hmm. I'm just gonna quickly check my phone here and see if it was B and M. Um, yeah, it was B and M. It wasn't a B and M store I'd been to before. I was just uh, wandering around because of my depression. I just wander and wander. I don't even know where I was. I just came across this B and M B and M store, so I thought, go into it. So the first thing I'm going to get over and done with is this uh, picnic layers. Uh, one it contains milk, peanut, soya. Main contain wheat, glutton, and tree nuts. Made in Australia from, from imported and local ingredients. And it's in date, so that's good. Um, there we go. There we go. I'm sorry about if the video seems a bit grainy. For some reason, even on my phone, because you know, I've got to say, didn't I? I'm not recording on my phone, I'm recording on my computer using my new or not new it's second hand bought in the marketplace uh hp 720p camera i would like to get a like an h a 1080 hd camera but unfortunately i can't but i don't think it makes much of a difference because my phone camera is 4k and it still comes up grainy during the night in the evening when it's low light so i don't know why in daytime it looks crisp so there you go not a lot i can do about that so yeah uh there we go. Mm. That's not too bad. I like that. It's not hard, it's very soft, easy to bite into. The texture's nice, the taste is nice. Nothing overpowers the other. So yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite pleased with that. I'm only looking away because I'm looking at the screen to see what you can see, so I can make sure I can see, because I'm not, I said I'm not on my phone. 
usually if I'm on my phone I'm like this and I'll be like that using the front front camera so I can see what I'm showing you <laughs> it's a bit weird with the camera being here and the screen my TV is being over there which I'm what I can see myself over there doing right, let's try these Cadbury's Dairy Milk Milk uh, Crisp Pillow Crisp Pearls I'm sure that's, I think it's Crisp Pillow isn't it? I know they're in that chocolate's meant to be in another L Four fingers of light crispy coat Crispies coated in milk chocolate and it goes off in August so that's alright I did have a uh, thing look at the ingredients and it's a vanilla flavoured filling so it, family milk chocolate with vanilla flavoured filling 39% and crunchy biscuit pieces 11% yeah let's uh, give this a try So it comes in four. So you get four of these uh, little bits here. Very nice. You can't actually see the little, you can't see the crispy bits in there. Good for some bottom there, but just there. I think you see a bit of a crispy, but not as well as the uh, packet makes out to be. If you look on the packet, I don't know if you can see that properly, but it looks like you can actually see the crispy bits like it's all in a line there. But you can't see it so much when you're actually eating it. Yeah, that's quite um quite nice. So I've got to say, I'd give this a nine out of ten. I'd give this an eight out of ten. Um, it is light. The taste. It's not as good as the first one we tried. I think that was a lot better. Because I'm looking forward to is because I am a big fan of strawberries. So to find strawberry flavoured chocolate is, you know, like really, really cool. Doesn't really smell uh, strawberry. Don't say chocolatey then. Doesn't really smell strawberry. Strawberry. I do need to point out that all the Cadbury stuff do, does have 100% sustainable sourced cocoa in all their packaging. Um, a little bit disappointed. You can't smell the strawberry when you open the packet. Um, there's a strawberry aftertaste, but it's, it's just like having a 12 a hint of strawberry it needs a bit more a bit, a bit more power into it if that makes sense yeah it needs a bit more flavoring the, the flavoring needs to be a bit stronger not too much stronger just a little bit more stronger my daughter loves 12 so I'm going to save them for her to see what she thinks Let's see if she think see if she likes them um <clears throat> yeah I'd give that um seven out of ten. Seven and a half like a push. Cadbury's, if you want some new ideas, please you know contact me, talk to me.
if you want me to try your like I said earlier, if you want me to try your stuff, if you want me to try new stuff, stuff that I haven't even hit the shelf yet, let me know and I'll try them for you. If you want me to, if you want to sponsor any of my videos, let me know. No problem with that. I could use the money. If you want me to record your Cabri World, South of Birmingham, send me a train ticket and I'll get you straight down there to do it. And I'll do that one free of charge as well. I won't even, won't even charge you for that. <laughs> Um, so I'm saving this for later because it's a mint flavour and mint can be quite strong if it's done right so um, breakaway mint so wafers in there so dairy milk milk chocolate with layers of crispy wafer and creme and a creamy chocolate mint flavoured centre does sound nice don't it And I am a chocoholic, I'm trying to cut down on chocolate to try and lose weight. But to make content for you guys, I'm stopping my face with chocolate. Hopefully I can find some more Cadbury stuff and do reviews like sometimes in my videos it's kind of mixed, isn't it? So um, I will try and do stuff of the same company if I can at some points. It all depends on money situation and what I can get my hands on. So it's, it's quite thick blocks here. You smell the mint, so it's like that in a row. See how thick it is there? Not as thick as me, but it's thick. <laughs> it breaks off quite easily, which is always good. You don't want to be struggling with it. Not too bad. I like that. Put that away in the fridge. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Um, crunchy, soft. the mint is just about right maybe a smidgen a bit more stronger with the mint but other than that really really nice and enjoyable um, I'm just going to have to try this again because I don't want to score that more than this if this is better no the mint one is definitely better so the mint, the Cadbury, mint, Cadbury Dairy Milk Breakaway Wafer Mint, I'd give that a nine and a half out of ten. If it was a smid, if the mint was a smidgen more powerful, it would be a straight ten out of ten. So yeah, um, I did enjoy that. That was the best one out of the four. So yeah, go check them out. I would recommend. If you're a Cadbury's fan or even just a chocolate fan, I would I would recommend all of them. I would recommend that you try at least one. I'm not saying eat them all at once, but you know, try one here and there. Go to B and M. They're not sponsoring me either, by the way. If they want to, could use the money. Um, yeah, but I've got I've not seen these in any other shop. I've only seen them in B and M. So yeah. It, that'd be the place to go look for them and if it's a big B&M that's even better because then you've got a wider range of stuff to get so that's even better as well then thank you for watching feel free to like comment and subscribe and let me know if you fancy getting any of these uh, if, you, if you have tried them then you know let me know what you think take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one goodbye for now